So there's a open source variant of VS Code without the Microsoft branding, telemetry, and licensing. Let's check it out. What's up guys, it's Josh back with another video. And today I wanted to show you guys how to get uh, VS Codium installed on your Linux operating system. Now, VS Codium is a open source variant of VS Code. And I don't know if you guys remember, I showed you guys how to get VS Code installed on Ubuntu 22.04. Well, I wanted to show you guys how to get this version installed on your system. And the main reason I wanted to show you this one is because the telemetry that Microsoft does as well as like all their branding and licensing, you know, that you have to use with VS Code. Well, this version doesn't have all of that. And essentially what this is, is a script that automatically builds Microsoft VS Code repository into a free license uh, binary with a community driven default configuration. And it can be installed on, on pretty much all versions of Linux. It may not cover them all, but pretty much all of them, as well as you can install it on Windows, as well as Mac OS. And you guys, if you've been following my, my videos for a while, I'm a big proponent for privacy. And with VS Code, a lot of the information, a lot of the things that you do within the application is being sent back via telemetry data back to Microsoft. And so I wanted to give people another option by doing this video and showing you guys how to get this one installed as well. So let's hop over to the GitHub page so I can show you guys what it's all about and then we can get to the install. All right, so this is the GitHub page for VS Codium. And of course, I always had a link down in the description of the video. They also have a web page. We'll go to that as well. But as you can see, it's a binary release of VS Code without Microsoft branding, telemetry, and licensing, like I stated. It has a MIT license, uh, and it's very popular. A lot of people, you know, that value their privacy, you know, use this version of VS Code. Uh, and that way you can have that open source, you know, feel to the application, you know, uh, in the bottom right of it. I don't know if you guys saw that when I did the previous video, but it had that information from Microsoft, you know, and talking about the telemetry and you can accept to send things back to Microsoft. So let's scroll down a little bit. I want to show you guys. It says free Libre open source software binary of VS Code. Um, and then this is a, this is not a fork. So you guys need to understand that they simply take a script or it's basically a script in the repository, um, or scripts and automatically build the Microsoft VS code repository in a freely licensed binary with a community driven default configuration. And like I said, it can be installed. This is Mac OS that's brew, uh, windows as well as Linux. So they have a watch, they have a snap. They have a package manager, you know, build and all that stuff. So you can get this thing installed pretty much on all Linux or all operating system platforms. And it breaks down the installation, which, you know, is very simple. So I won't spend too, too much time installing it. I just wanted to show you guys how to get it installed right fast um, after or later on and kind of, you know, tell you guys about it. But it says you can always install using the download. So they has, there's a dev RPM and the tour, uh, on the release page. So you can get that to install it in Orch. It's in the AUR, the Orch user repository. And just to show you guys this, they do have a flat, flat pack option of it. So all you have to do is type flat pack install. You know, this is the instructions right here. Uh, you can install it that way. And now this is kind of what I want to read to you guys, but it says, uh, why does this exist? The repository contains build files to generate the re free release binaries of Microsoft VS Code. When we speak of free software, we're talking about freedom and not price. And that's hundred percent true. And that's one thing I try to, you know, talk about on the channel. Um, that's why I like free and open source software. It's not about the price. It's about the freedom. You don't have to worry about Microsoft, you know, telemetry, tracking, all that stuff. And it says right here below it, and it kind of covers this down here. It says, uh, Microsoft releases a Visual Studios code. Microsoft releases of Visual Studio code or license under this not false license and contain telemetry and tracking. 
according to this comment from the visual studios code maintainer so right here this is what they're talking about and one of the reasons why they did it but it says um when when we microsoft build visual studios code we do exactly this we clone the vs code repository we lay down a customized product uh, json that has microsoft specific functionality telemetry gallery logos etc and then produce a build that we release under our license when you clone and build from the vs code re repo none of these endpoints are configured in the default product.json therefore you generate a clean build without the microsoft customization which is by default license under the mit license and says this repo exists so that you don't have to download build from source yes and that's 100 percent true that's why i use this you know what i'm saying it's it's simpler you know what i'm saying you don't have to build it from source which is not hard to build from source but it's um easier to use this way and that's why i want to show you guys this way you know what i'm saying and then it says if you want to build from source yourself head over to microsoft vs code repo and follow these instructions uh this repo exists to make it easier to get the latest version of the mit license vs code and then this covers the build process you know uh, and everything you need for it but this is some more documentation you can read that but i wanted to hop over to their website as well so let's pop over there right fast but this is i'll have this link down in the description as well but this is essentially the exact same stuff on the github page i just wanted to at least show it to you guys uh you can download the latest version uh that's basically those dev packages rpm package rpm packages and the tor files you can download that directly from here or you can use these commands to get it installed which like i said we're going to get it installed on linux and i might just show you guys the snap version you know what i'm saying or we could do it down here uh install via the package manager it's it's pretty much the same and they're showing you uh vs codium is pre-installed on parrot os so i actually didn't know that so they have it in their repository uh, all you have to do is uh, run that command that'll get it installed for you. So look through this page. Like I said, I had this in the description of the video so you guys can get it installed on your operating system. Uh, this has all the different ways you can get it installed. Now, let's hop over to my virtual machine so we can get it installed. Also, before we move forward, I wanted to give a quick shout out to CIQ as the official supporter of Rocky Linux, which I think is one of the best replacements for your CentOS server. If you haven't been paying attention, Red Hat announced in 2021, it will be going away with CentOS as the downstream clone for Red Hat and Rocky Linux is here to pick up the pieces. So check out Rocky Linux at CIQ.co. Okay, cool. So I'm logged into my Ubuntu 22.04. Let's go down and get this thing installed. And like I always do, uh, I typically do things from the terminal. Uh, let's see, let's remind me later on those software updates. So I don't slow down this install, but essentially I'm gonna use the snap package. It's in the snap repository so let's just go down and run uh sudo snap install codium and dash dash classic and the first thing you want to do is obviously update your system and i'll skip ahead because i know we have updates on it so sudo apps updates and then ampersand ampersand sudo apps upgrade and then we could put that dash Y on the end. That way it automatically answers that question. Are you sure you want to get this stuff installed? So type in our pseudo password and then it'll go through the install. It's like 40 something seconds or 40 something packages. I apologize. And I'll skip ahead so you guys don't see this whole thing. I want you guys to at least see me updating the system or at least starting the upgrade update. But this is something you want to always do when you install new packages on your system. OK, so we're done with the updates and I already rebooted the system. So let's go down and uh, zoom in so you guys can see the terminal a little better. Uh, but just wanted to show you guys the quick install of Codium and we'll use the snap package. All you have to do is type sudo snap install and then the package name is codium and then we could type uh, dash dash classic 
that way we don't run into that error i know it, it might run into that error because when i did it before or when i got it installed on another system before i had to run classic because there was that error that popped up but uh you could just type dash dash classic and that'll get it installed for you you won't, you won't run into any issues as of today and it'll only take a couple seconds and I'll skip ahead on this. But one thing I, I'm also gonna do is install VS Code. And I'll open up both applications so you can see the difference between the two uh, while they're open. So I'll be back when this finishes. All right, so VS Codium is installed. As you can see right here, this is what it will state. Now let's go down and get uh, VS Code installed as well. And same command is SEP. The package name is code and let's press enter we can get that one installed as well we shouldn't run into any issues with them conflicting they should both open up with no problem but I'll be back when this actually finishes as well all right cool so both of them are installed as you can see VS code is installed as well uh, I'm gonna leave up in the terminal because I'm not sure if it has the same name but let's look into yeah there we go so different image you know same application so VS Codium and visual studios code so vs code so let's open up vs uh codium first uh and then i'm gonna set this one to the side boom and then let's open up vs code all right fast let's open up both of them and let's put this one over to the side boom there we go so as you can tell, it looks pretty much the same. Uh, the name up here is different. It says VS Codium. You know, this says Visual Studios Code, but it looks pretty much the same. The, the images are different, but one of the things that pop up is, uh, let's see, you have Docker installed on your system. Do you want to install the recommended extensions? Okay, nah, but let's click on this show recommendation. I want to see what, what else it says under here. Uh, so Kubernetes, uh, cloud code, that's cool. Uh, so remote uh, containers. So let's just ignore that because we can get all that installed on uh, VS Codium as well. You can look in here and you can find those same extensions. You know, they just recommend you over here. And yeah, let's go down and close that. Let's close that Docker extension. But let's go back to the get started. I wanted to see, I thought it was gonna show, last time I looked at it, it showed something different over here uh basically axing if you want to send information back to windows uh which i don't know why it's not showing up now but it normally shows you that uh so tweak feedback no nah, that's nah you don't want to do that so that's taken out that's one thing that's different though uh we'll see that but is this it essentially works the same and that's mainly what i wanted to show you guys uh by showing this you know what i'm saying it, it, it's basically the same exact application it just doesn't have that telemetry in the background but you got your color themes you know all the all the normal uh stuff that you would see uh on here so we we just close that right fast but the normal setup you know you can set up your themes uh, you put your different colors on you know the dark theme you know all that good stuff so now let's go to next section i want to see uh redefine editing skills let's see if it's different here from being built in terminal yeah that's pretty much the same let's go there let's go here track your code yeah customize your shortcut side by side editing you know you can turn that on so let's hit mark is done mark is done uh and you can show this welcome page you know when you open up the application so i really don't see much of a difference i thought it was going to show a little bit more um i thought i remember seeing more i i remember when i first uh installed vs code it popped up asking me if i wanted to send information back to microsoft don't know where that is don't know why it's not showing up now maybe they removed it or whatever uh but whatever like like i said all i really wanted to mainly show you guys that the application is pretty much the same it's just this is free and open source this one is not and you don't have to worry about the telemetry and all that stuff being sent back to microsoft uh while you're coding so hope you guys enjoyed the video hopefully that gives you a little information about vs codium and how to get it installed on your ubuntu 22.04 is very simple you can use the snap package or you can install it from the main repository 
you know what i'm saying and, and there's the instructions on their website on how to get it installed on those other versions of linux as well as mac os as well as uh, the windows operating system if you want to install that version over there but if you're on windows telemetry is is built into the operating system so uh, that's going to happen regardless so you're not really doing much by installing vs codium uh, other than protecting the code that you write within there but pretty much the operating system you know is being tracked you know and sent back uh, if you want to avoid that as much as you, as much as you can go down and switch to the linux operating system you know what i'm saying it, it'll definitely help you out with that but again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions, leave comments down in the comments below. And of course, keep it techie.